Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We <laughs> daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. James has joined me on my quick 5K, my three mile run, more of like a shakeout run. Have a big, busy, very fun day. Realize there's Taco Fest. So we're going to try to add that into our already busy day of going to the Cubs game, Riot Fest, and now Taco Fest. All the fests. We're going to start calling the Cubs game just Cubs Fest. Try Fest Day. Try means three, if you didn't know that. Anyway, great morning to go on a run. Hot, but not too hot. Beautiful weather, little breeze. Lake's looking beautiful. James is cute. <laughs> So I've been talking about this more recently, how Chicago is a big running city. Maybe a lot of people don't realize that, but with the Chicago Marathon coming up in a few weeks and me running 20 miles, it's actually in line with a lot of the training groups. In the city like Cara, which I think is the Chicago Athletic Running, Chicago Area Runners Association and SEC, um, CES, uh, Chicago Endurance Sports. I believe Chicago Endurance Sports, we have some black singlets coming up here, are doing their 20 miler group runs today as a training group. And then tomorrow, Kara is doing this. I'm not running with either. Last year, I technically was part of CES, uh, but this year I'm not part of any, but today is CES, tomorrow's Kara's 20 miler run. Chicago Marathon is in the air. Peekaboo. <laughs> you are goofy. We're just having a lovely Saturday morning. Oh, Evie's going to go to Nine Nights. <laughs> How it feels to be alone in Napoli. <laughs> We're getting ready to go to Taco Fest. Getting ready for Yellow Card tonight. Getting ready for the Cubbies today. This is probably the, the only extremely justifiable reason why I own these sunglasses. It's because they're covered in tacos. I'm going to Taco Fest. Say it, Teddy. So our very, very festive Saturday in the city has begun. We are out. We are strolling to Southport for Taco Fest. Got a couple of errands to run to on the way there. But then we're going to go to the Cubs game. Yes, yeah, so we, we're... Oh, we are nearing nap time. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. But the thing James likes to nap in his trailer. Yes, and like we want to soak up Taco Fest because we won't go tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to not see the first part of the Cubs game. Yeah. But that's all right. Between enjoying Taco Fest and naps with the kids, it'll work out. Perfect. Such a long day. These kids got to practice their endurance now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're in Fleet Feet to pick up some Martins for my long run and a bottle. Check it out. 21 days until the Chicago Marathon. Yeah. Look at that, Taco Fest right there. So excited. So I got a, some Martin's drink, some Martin's, and I got this Nathan's hand water bottle because I've been yeah. goofing with my hydration. Guess what? What? I was like, ooh, that's $37 that we didn't plan on spending. We had two $15 rewards. Sweet. Yeah, I was like, oh, like, do you want to use this today? I was like, yeah, I didn't even know we had them. Awesome. We have one baby down, asleep, another one. He just wants to be, he just loves Taco Fest. All right, so we got a stage getting set up there. We're here pretty early. It started like 40 minutes ago. I already got me a Samuel Adams Oktoberfest. Sarah's looking at some onesies. There's actually a, there's a, a vendor here we want to check out called Chi-Town Clothier that we got some stuff at last year that we saw an email about this morning with cool stuff. We have Florida baby bibs. We might have to get that. And look at these hats. Our first stop, we're gonna get some pastor tacos. And then two were out. Two naps at the same time? I don't know what that No. All right, Sarah's grabbing some cucumber mint lemonade from this stand here. And I just can't, can't wait any longer. So I'm just gonna dive in. 
looks so, so good. Taco Fest. I got a cucumber mint lemonade. It is so yummy. How are the tacos? Yeah. Another great clothing shop. There's that Y logo. All right, so there's two music stages here at Taco Fest, but neither seem to be starting the music yet. We are here like right, right after it opened, um, but we have now reached the end. We have one little section to double back on. Um, Cubs game actually starts started 15, 20 minutes ago, okay. so we're not too far from it. But oh. I, I kind of want to stay and wait until James wake up for the games, but at the same time, it could be another two hours before he leaves right. So I think we should walk, get like one more taco something, I might grab one more beer. Yeah. That, that, uh, that Thai shrimp. shrimp taco is so yummy. Yes, that was a little bit more like zesty than that. Yeah. Just a straightforward pesto or taco. Yeah, with cilantro and onion. Yeah, it was delicious. Yes. All right, so since like we didn't, some of these places are cash only, some are card. We didn't have enough cash to get another beer or tacos, so we, got, found a, churro. we got a churro. We got Oreo on it. It's called the Jane from Churro Parlor. Oh, oh, you got the Aunt Rose. But from Churro Parlor in Chicago and Glenview. How is it? Our mission is one more thing to eat, one more beer, and then stroll over to Wrigley. Sarah's trying to eat the wrapping. <laughs> okay, we got Tikka Masala tacos from Tandor. They won best taco of the festival two years in a row. Yeah. So we're gonna Slam. be the judges. We have to go back for your order. <laughs> these are mine. <laughs> really? Is yeah. that good? Uh oh, him's awake. Little AC break. It's toasty. Little AC break into <laughs> interject some Disney Springs into our life. <laughs> we're at our anthropology on Southport and it smells. Funny, when we're there, it smells like Chicago to us because of the State Street anthropology. Yeah, and specifically when we're here, Christmas, I feel. Yeah, and when we're here, it smells like Disney. Hi. Teddy's back. Hi. Hi, baby. He takes lots of short naps. I'm like his brother it's who takes teddy bear. one long nap. Uh, I do. <laughs> He's just so cute. I just want people to know, like, my view and how how cute it is. <laughs> See, his eyes look blue and green today. We are out of here for Taco Fest 2022. This was like a surprise. We got the email this morning that it was going on. So just a little addition to our fun weekend. All right, I was actually mistaken. I looked at my, my watch wrong and the Cubs game actually hasn't even started yet. It starts yeah. in 20 minutes. Yeah. So, and James has woken up. So by the time we get there, park the stroller in uh, the valet parking that they have there and walk back into the to the field and everything. It might be uh, you know, second inning, maybe? Yeah, I know that. That'll be great. We had, like, that whole taco fest was like a little date. Yeah. <laughs> the kids slept as we got into it and they woke up as we left it. This is so cool. Usually we don't walk up to Wrigley from this side of the stadium, but what a beautiful Saturday for a Cubbies game in the friendly confines. Sarah's gonna go in. There's a nursing area over by Gallagher Way. James and I are going to go park this stroller with the valet over by the CTA. So we'll divide and conquer. Yes. The water is going today. And I will show you where this nursing pot is. So here's the Gallagher Way entrance. And here's this little pod. Hey. So someone was in here when we first got here, but I just waited a few minutes. And here's the little station, nice and air conditioned. Got some cleaning supplies. Got my baby. Hi. 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 You going to eat? Yeah, you going to eat. 
after that taco fest, I gotta reapply my lipstick. Um, you guys know I typically feel comfortable nursing just covered anywhere, but it is very warm today and it's just so nice that I don't have to put him in a cover. Like, it, it gets really hot underneath there. Um, it's nice that there's this option, this air conditioned, just private place for me to go. So, very thankful for this today. All right, James just woke up from his nap. <laughs> We made it one out into the first inning, three minutes after the game starts, so that's pretty good. The alert. All right, let's get up to our seats. Beautiful, beautiful day. Ooh, looking like a full house in the friendly confines. I was not feeling this game so much, so I pulled a, a wild card and I got a lemon icy. He's loving it so far. We got Monsters Inc. Icy. <laughs> so, so we left. Yeah. Uh, Jane just got hit in the head with the leaf falling from the tree. Very confused by it. We made it through the seventh inning stretch. A lot more of the game that we saw than I thought we were going to. Pretty good yeah. game. Yeah. Tied when we yeah, left. Just, so. like, the Rockies just tied the Cubs when we left. So yeah. we'll have to see what happens. I know. <laughs> James is blabbering right now yeah. to us. Um, so we're going to go home and relax. There's to get the vlog up. Yep. Going to try to re energize ourselves before some dinner. the concert tonight. Alrighty, 99 days until Christmas. We're celebrating every day in some way, somehow. Today we're gonna to have the Grinch on. Oh, here's Sarah's burger with some nicely melted cheese, some Carolina gold, some lettuce, there's pickles underneath the patty. We've got James is here, We've got a little bit of a toasted bun with some pickles and the quinoa burger right there. All right, Mom, what do you think? Delectable. Teamwork. Extra good. I forgot cheese yesterday. Not today. It's our, our cheese grand finale. And we're heading to Riot Fest, and look at it, look at it. Chicago is your start line. Chicago man with the banners. Uh, we may have found something to pre pre preoccupy ourselves for a little bit of time. He got a Chicago Blackhawks like rubber bracelet that he's wearing as an armband. And we found this Riot Fest ball that we're gonna kick around with as long as we can. The all cards playing at the stage right there. At 8:30, so we got time, and all the we were trying to get a funnel cake, but the line was obnoxiously long. So we're just gonna try to hang out, keep him occupied for an hour. Check it out! Check it out! Logan Arcade has a tent with a bunch of arcade games set up. How fun! They even got Crystal Castles and Blue Beer Tapper. With just over 10 minutes left, we resorted to playing. Let's tear the bark off this tree. But I'm a little kid, so I can't really pull it off. <laughs> yeah. You're acting like this is the most fun you've had all day today. All right, for the last couple minutes, James and I just watched this Ferris wheel. He was mesmerized, but I think this guy's toast. Such a big day. Long day, I think he is. Donezo. Um, hopefully we can sing around and dance and jump around in these trees over here for yellow card. Probably the only time in my entire life I will see them because they actually retired years back and I don't know how much longer they're going to be touring but they're going to be starting here in about a minute or two. I'm very, very excited. Peter and Sarah from the future. We realized we didn't really like explain why the show was so special. So this is going before the music of Yellow Card performance. Yellow, Yellow Card broke up. Yes. Or retired, I think is like a more polite over way. over five years ago. 2016. So they were they were done. So Riot Fest, I don't know when because this Riot Fest has been being planned for a while. But um, reached out to them and asked if they would play. And it must have been this year because it's the anniversary. Yeah, next, this year. Well, like next year is the anniversary of. The 20 album. year anniversary 20 of. 20 years. Ocean Avenue. Of Ocean Avenue. Mm -hmm. um, so Riot Fest asked them to play the album 
start to finish, um, which is like super unique and fun and awesome and for them to like come out of um, their retirement. And so that's why the show is so extra like, crazy. They retired in 2016. I, we thought like, oh, we're just never going to see them because mm -hmm. we never got to see them. And now they're, they're, they don't try, they don't perform anymore. They're not right. technically a band anymore. Yeah. The big thing was that like Peter and I both are Yellow Card fans, but we listened to Yellow Cards at, like before we were together. I listened to Yellow Card first. Yeah. Peter was, has been a bigger <laughs> fan. This like his, that was like, it's your favorite. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just been your favorite, and I really, really liked them, so it was just, like, just nice that we both, like, that I love Peter's favorite. Um, but it wasn't like Andrew or other bands that we saw together in high school. We didn't, like, seek out to see them, because our phases, like, our yellow card phases were at different times. But, <sighs> so happy I got to see them with you. Yeah. It was Alrighty. such a good time. Listen to their music. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> so this turned into a big walkway so we're still enjoying but just don't mind all the people we're having a good time <laughs> and sharing a night like this look at this place look look at where we are together again it's been a week. It's been a week of a, a reunion. It's been a week of, of such good, positive vibes with, with the five of us up here. Thank you all. I, I, I really, I don't know what else to say other than just thank you, thank you so, so much for bringing this band back to life after almost six years apart. I don't know 
what they think they're doing. They're supposed to only play Ocean Avenue. I'm very nervous. What are they going to play? We have been counting the minutes to step onto the stage at Riot Fest in Chicago, Illinois, and play rock and roll with you again. And it finally came, it finally happened. Here it is. It's been almost six years since we played a show together, and I don't think we could have asked for anything more than what we got to have here with you tonight in Chicago. Thank you so, so much. Thank you guys so much for Yellow Card. Thanks for having us here tonight in Chicago. We love you guys so much. Let's go. They went over their time. Yeah. Yeah, I was nervous that the Misfits crowd and the Yellow Card crowd were going to leave at the same time. Yes. So I wanted to get ahead of that with the yes. kids. You have fun? <laughs> you love concerts? You love it? You love it? You love Yellow Card? Do you have so much fun? Happy, it's so much fun. Hello. <laughs> I do boo 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 do boo do boo do boo do Oh my goodness. You so happy? I do boo 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 Hi hi hi. <laughs> do you hear this child? You would have never known he was just crying in the car so much. But he's so happy now. I do boo do boo. I do. Can you see you? He's literally laughing like throwing his head back. It's so funny. Be strong, believe. <laughs> This child down here getting changed is causing a ruckus. <laughs> um, it's it's not super late, but it's oh. it's been a long day. Yes. And, um, I'm running 20 miles in the morning. Yes, we are spent. And, yeah. Thank you for such an amazing concert. Once in a lifetime. Truly. We've been seeing these like posters up around for so long and like we hadn't decided on going or not and all of a sudden I was like, it's this weekend. We have to decide. And it all worked out. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>